Patsy Scott, excitedabouthealth.com, and today I'm very excited to share with you that juicing is the key to the healings people get when they follow the Hallelujah Diet. You know, I do this whole workshop on the how, the why, the when, the how much of juicing, but today I just want to share with you a short little nugget that I'd love you to take to heart. Now, it's from the founder of the therapeutic value of juices, Dr. Norman Walker, in his book, Fresh Vegetables and Fruit Juices. Now I'm going to expand on this in future nuggets, but this one is a real gem. Just listen to this. Juices are organic water of the finest quality with the nourishing atoms and molecules in microscopic volume. It is this microscopic volume for which the cells and tissues of the body are starved. Because the juices are live food, they regenerate the entire body with surprisingly rapid results. It's the quickest and most permanent way to replenish the body with the elements it lacks. For today's demo, we will use the Hiram juicer, which is the same as the Omega Vert Mini Vertical Auger. Now putting it together, you first be sure to plug the pulp hole and then fit the base onto the tabs, locking it into place. Just drop the scrubber in. The screen is a hole that lines up with the base and then locks in. The vertical logger just drops in and spin until it drops into the gears. The top arrow lines with an arrow on the base and snaps into place. Now since a single glass of juice is one pound of carrots, we'll take this two pound bag and split it in two. Kind of eye it up as to what's split and then tip and top them. And then throw them in and give them a good scrub just to get the um, dead leaves and dirt off of them. But And I use a a veggie wash. You can see this is Healthy Harvest and that's a concentrate. It goes uh, with three glasses of water into this sprayer and then you spray them and then you leave them for about 30 seconds and it dissolves all residue and harmful toxins etc. Particularly if these are not organic carrots but these are. I just wanted to show you the cleansing and then rinse them off and now we'll cut them up. You want to be cutting them up into pieces that are about thumb size so you see what I'm doing here. Um, the ends may just be snapped in two, but the heaviers will be snapped into four. And now we have uh, just a chunk of lemon and a couple handfuls of spinach. And away we go with juicing. We'll drop in hard veggies and then the soft leaves. And the soft leaves get pushed down by the carrot and you can see we don't have to use the plunger uh, if you use the carrots following the soft leaves it'll help push them down and there you have it I always leave the lemon to last because it, because it helps clean out the um, the juicer actually it'll make it uh, whiter now you use a fine strainer you must always strain your juice no matter what kind of juicer you have and then just uh, squish the pulp there until it dries out and you get every last bit of juice in. And there you have your juice ready to drink. That's about 8 to 12 ounces. We'll go back to our juicer and dump a couple of glasses of water in, which helps clean the screens. It makes it easier on the wash up. And so all you have to do now is wash the uh, strainer and wash the uh, pulp container, wash the juice container, and now you see the top that comes off. It's going to be a little bit of orange residue on there. I'm going to show you how to clean that up in a moment. And now we've got to the auger. It just has a bit of uh, pulp caught in the bottom there. You see, you just get a little uh, scraper and you just hand rinse that off. You see how easy that is. And then use your uh, brush that comes with your um, juicer and just brush the bottom strainer. It has the most um, residue in it and the other one doesn't. And then your scrubber just needs a quick brush and then quickly brush the base unit and now unplug the pulp holder and rinses out easily. Now we're going to clean the um, staining off the top. We'll get a bit of coconut oil, put it onto a paper towel and then rub the spot. The spot will turn yellow and then completely be removed and that's how to keep your juicer nice and clean. So now we've made one glass of juice. But Dr. Norman Walker says that in order to have any perceptible results in healing that you need at least three glasses of juice a day. So in future nuggets I'm going to show you how you can have more juices quicker and I'm also going to show you batch juicing. 
So in the meantime, to your health.